first fax I received this morning was from Josh Austin, uh, offensive lineman from Camden. And it was just uh, basically like a Christmas present. I mean, Christmas Eve last night, you know, gather around the family and just go to bed and hopefully wake up in the morning and have some nice surprises and definitely no negative surprises uh, because you don't want someone not to fax the you know, NLI with us not knowing they're not going to send it. Uh, guys that want to be here, we want them here. But, you know, we don't want to have to beg a guy to come play for Presbyterian College. Uh, I think our coaching staff is second to none. I think we've got a, a great opportunity here as we make this move to 1AA, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, We're going to coach the boys, uh, the young men, just like they're our own. And, uh, I think the parents who came on campus you know, saw that, and they're excited to have their young men to be in this program. Um, who are some of the guys that you were looking at uh, first as far as the first incoming class who can make an impact for you immediately? I, I think the two quarterbacks, Brandon Miley and Kyle Harris, are going to be tremendous players. Brandon Miley is a Shrine quarterback from North Carolina from Harvard High School. He threw for 29 touchdowns and three interceptions. Uh, he's going to be an impact player. Uh, I think we have uh, several receivers, Tyler Robbins and Matthew DeWitt and Jeremy Cole. Uh, Matthew DeWitt from uh, North Myrtle Beach, Tyler Robbins from uh, Homewood, Alabama, and uh, Jeremy Cole from Ridgeview in South Carolina are just going to be great players. I think the, the five offensive linemen we signed in general uh, are all going to be impact players, uh, very good football players. Uh, I think the linebacker from Pendleton, J.R. Thomas, is going to be an impact player, yeah. as well as Brian Wilson from Sumter, a defensive back. And just, you know, in general, the entire signing class is, is going to be uh, impact potential. You know, our place kicker, you know, Cam Miller, uh, yeah. you know, he's been in the big games. He's played in the big setting, so I think, you know, he is going to be an impact player as well. Uh once that final fax comes over today, how's that? Where did, how are you going to feel? And then what's next for you as soon as signing day finishes? I feel relieved when we get that last <laughs> fax. Uh, he said he's coming, so I just got to make him, make sure that he is before we say anything. But, uh, we've had to deal with some negative recruiting on that deal. Uh, and that's something I hope our staff never associates with. Yeah. And we won't ever want to be a, guilty of, you know, coaxing a player to, to come or whatever. We want to just live off our merits and may the chips fall where they may. Um, but the bottom line is, after signing day uh, today, we'll start working on spring practice and, and bring in their walk-ons. We won't bring in 25 walk-ons. We're bringing in you know, uh, 25, you know, 21, 23, 24 signees and then 25 walk-ons. We end up having about 100 players on the team in August. That's our goal. The second thing we'll do is just simply focus on spring practice, and putting the schemes in, teaching the players what we expect. Okay, good deal.